welcome back to my channel more more geckos if you don't mind can you give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know how you guys can say is going down in the comment section i love hearing from you guys don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you guys know when i upload new videos let's get today's video started so guys here's a little update on mango as you guys can tell he's doing absolutely amazing um i weighed him early this morning and he weighed 85 grams so I want to know down in the comment section how big your leopard gecko is. So comment down below and comment how many grams your leopard gecko is. So, so as you guys can tell, I got Zeb a new enclosure. I think this setup cost me around $75. And this container was really well put together, as you guys can tell. I think I'm going to add another, another cork flat right about here. Just so he can climb on it as you can tell i have this huge branch right there and he has two water dishes and he has a hide right under there hide over there he can go back there and hide so a lot of hiding spaces he has a lot of vines and all that but as you guys can tell if you go look at my other videos zeb was kind of outgrowing his old tank he was getting way too huge for for the tank so this tank is going to fit him for a long time, probably for around a year and a half. And then I will upgrade him to an even bigger tank. So yeah, here is Zeb's habitat. So guys, here's the brown anoles, all four of them, one male and three females. There's meatball up there. And yeah, once I moved Zeb in his bigger enclosure, I gave these guys Zeb's enclosure. As you can tell, it looks fantastic. But I feel like it needs a few things, so comment down below and let me know what you think I should add in this tank. I'm thinking maybe a few more branches for them to climb on. And then getting a misting system for them because they're, they're going to need a lot of moisture.